The Miami Hurricanes just added the best available player in the transfer portal. They landed one of the best running backs in the portal, Damian Martinez from Oregon State. Miami is already having an incredible offseason, and Damian Martinez was a huge pickup for Miami because they may have lost a highly productive running back in Henry Parrish, who ran for over 2,000 yards the last four seasons for Miami. But honestly, Damian Martinez may have just been an upgrade for this Miami team as a whole. And Damian Martinez ran for over 2,000 yards the last two seasons, and he had an incredible 2023 season rushing for nearly 1,200 yards, and being one of the best running backs not just in the Pac-12, but probably in the country as well. So it is very hard not to believe that Damian Martinez won't be an upgrade for Miami in the backfield. And with what Miami is going to have offensively next season, they are going to potentially have a very good 2024 season. And an ACC championship looks possible for the Hurricanes in 2024, if you ask me. Because not only do they add a highly productive running back in Damian Martinez, but they also added another top offensive player from the Pac-12 last season. And they landed one of the best quarterbacks in the portal, Cam Ward. So Miami added two of the best offensive players from the transfer portal, and this is very big for Miami football heading into 2024. People have their concerns about what the Hurricanes are going to be with Mario Cristobal at head coach. Despite only winning seven games last season, their numbers improved drastically, and they were a knee away from eight wins. They continue to recruit at a very high level, and they have a top five 2024 recruiting class on top of the transfer portal additions of Cam Ward and now Damian Martinez who is going to be a beast in the backfield for the Hurricanes at running back. And if nothing changes for this Miami team and the trend continues up, then I'd have to believe that this is a 9 or 10 win team and a legit ACC championship contender in 2024. And they honestly have one of the most talented rosters in the country, and it would be pretty embarrassing if they did not take a step up in 2024. Because it is very difficult for me to believe a team with the roster like the Miami Hurricanes will not take a step up, And they should definitely take a step up because Mario Cristobal is building a stacked roster and at some point you'd have to believe all the talent is going to pay off. Because all of that talent is getting developed and they are not so young anymore. And I know Mario Cristobal gets a lot of questions as a head coach because of his lack of on the field coaching and game management. But I definitely think the positives can outweigh the negatives with this Miami team. Because they have really taken major strides and it should start showing on the field more. Because there's just too much talent not only from recruiting but also from the transfer portal. And they should continue to level up every year. And we aren't the only ones that believe in the trend of this Miami team. Because oddmakers have their 2024 win total at 9.5. And and they are one of the favorites to win the 2024 ACC championship. And an ACC championship victory for Miami would be huge. Because they have never won an ACC title. But an ACC championship could be a program changer win for Miami. And it really could get them back to national relevance. And having two veteran offensive players is a big positive for this Miami offense because we absolutely know Cam Ward is going to do incredible things in 2024. He has already shown his early talent in the spring. But now that he has a lot more of a talented roster to work with, he is going to create magic in 2024. He did not have a great team around him at Washington State, but he still proved himself as a high-profile quarterback, including leading Washington State to a victory over Oregon State and where Cam Ward passed for over 400 yards and four touchdowns with an insane completion percentage of 82.4. And I believe he was in the early Heisman race at that point. And I know last season didn't necessarily go how Washington State wanted it to, but I believe Cam Ward is one of the more underrated quarterbacks in the country, and I think he is definitely a top 10 college football quarterback in my opinion. And now you pair him with a Miami team that is on the rise with a very talented receiving core, with guys like Xavier Restrepo who was already a 1,000 yard receiver last season. And also Jacoby George and Isaiah Horton, who are both pretty productive receivers in their own right. Jacoby Jones not being too far from that 1,000-yard receiver mark. The passing attack should be very good. And you also have two high upside four-star freshman wideouts joining the team. And those two guys are Josisa Trader and Nye Carr. So I'd keep an eye out for them because they make Miami's receiving talent a bit more deep. But now Miami added Damian Martinez at running back. And Damian Martinez is a beast at running back. And he is a powerful running back to have in the backfield for Miami. And when you cannot get the passing attack going, you know you have a very dangerous running back room because not only do you have the presence of a very talented veteran power back in Damian Martinez, but you also return Mark Fletcher Jr. who actually split reps with Henry Parrish last season. And Chris Johnson Jr. is going to be a stud in the future and he still has multiple more years in college left. Miami also returns four starting offense alignment from last season. And they bring in three-star Zach Carpenter from Indiana who should be that fifth starter on that offensive line for the Hurricanes in 2024. 
And Miami has a very talented offense heading into next season. And that offense returned 79% of production from last season. And now you have Damian Martinez, who is a very experienced running back. And he is going to wreak havoc on ACC defenses, and I truly believe that. Because Miami was already pretty productive running the ball last season, rushing for 5 yards a carry. And Damian Martinez adds to that running back room in a big way. And he averaged 6 yards a carry last season for Oregon State. And say what you want about this Miami team, but I believe this is a team that is going to take a step up on the offensive side of the ball. Definitely with additions like Damian Martinez and Cam Ward. And I really have no concerns about that. Because that Miami offense was already solid last season with a quarterback like Tyler Van Dyke, who no offense was a big downgrade from Cam Ward. And Miami definitely didn't miss with finding a better quarterback because Cam Ward was one of the best quarterbacks in the transfer portal. And he can sling the ball deep, but Cam Ward is also a running back in his own right. In his time at Washington State, he was running out of the pocket a majority of the game because his offensive line could not block. But Cam Ward still was very productive, and he threw for 3,735 yards with a pretty solid completion percentage of 66.6. He got sacked 38 times, and he had 120 carries for 144 yards. But the thing about Miami is they only gave up 16 sacks last season. And like I said, the Hurricanes have a great backfield, and that's going to take a lot of pressure off of Cam Ward. And Cam Ward should be a lot more comfortable in that offense with a lot better of an offensive line. And all that does is create for more variety on the offensive side of the ball. And having a productive passing attack and rushing attack is always a great positive to have. And that is definitely going to help Miami win games against the better and more physical teams, not just in the ACC, but also in the country. But the question that may be asked is how are they going to be on the defensive side of the ball? Because how they perform on the defensive side of the ball could definitely determine if they are truly capable of winning an ACC championship in 2024 and potentially make it a run in the 12-team playoffs. But you have stars on that defense. Ruben Bain Jr. is going to be a monster on the edge for this team. Last season, he was very productive as a freshman with 7.5 sacks and 44 tackles. And the arrow is pointing up for him and he's a future NFL star. You'll also return your top linebacker, Francisco who had 7.5 sacks last season, and he was the leading tackler for the Hurricanes in 2023. They also bring in some new additions from the transfer portal on the defensive side of the ball. They brought in a safety from Washington who had 3 interceptions and 38 tackles last season. They also added one of the top safeties from Vanderbilt. They added 3 additions up front on the defensive line, most notably Marley Cook who was a 4-star defensive tackle from Middle Tennessee State. Miami lost some talented players on the defensive side of the ball, like Jordan Wayne and Corey Flagg who were both high upside recruits for this team, but they added some new faces and they still returned two very dangerous pass rushers. The defense was solid last season and they only gave up 22 points a game, but if they want to win the ACC, we need to see more on the defensive side of the ball in 2024. And I would say I have a lot more questions on the defense than I do on the offense, but they aren't necessarily bad on the defensive side of the ball either, and they have a lot of potential of some of their top stars returning. So we'll see what happens. But I'm expecting a very good season from the Hurricanes, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And if the defense becomes a top 3 defense in the ACC, then they can really become a force. So I think I know what to expect on offense, but I really think the ultimate deciding factor on if they can win the ACC in 2024 is going to be if the defense becomes one of the top defenses in the ACC. And that would mean that they would probably have to take a step up on the defensive side of the ball. And that means they have to go from giving up 22 points a game to probably under 18 points a game. And they would probably have to have at least a top 15 scoring defense in all of college football. And if their pass rush keeps giving offenses a hard time, then that would be a bonus. And the defense should be really good. I don't know what to expect, but all we can do is speculate. And I am definitely excited about the future of the Miami Hurricanes with new additions like Cam Ward and Damian Martinez. Because they are huge pickups for this team. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think about the Miami Hurricanes heading into 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.